The cleanup exercise has heightened in most parts of Lusaka. This is in an effort to curb the further spread of cholera. A check in Lusaka's Lilanda Township found heaps of garbage being collected. Some people in this area have even turned this plot into a garbage site. What we need is citizen arrest because people keep on dumping trash where there are no dump sites. We failed to control the garbage because the entire community of Kapwepo Ward, they are throwing the garbage that side. Local government minister Garin Kombo has visited various sites to check on how the cleaning exercise is going. Everyone requires to play their part. This fight should not be for government alone. This fight should be for every citizen. And this is the reason why we are here to assist, to collect all the refuse, all the debris that has been generated by our people. This is a people matter. It is people who throw, it is people who generate. And so we have to agree that time has now come to apply the principle of the generator must pay. Mr. Kombo has thanked stakeholders that have come on board to help in the cleanup exercise and shared his ministry's plans for waste management. We have to now engage all the industries that are responsible for producing only thing that I know that is not biodegradable, that people throw in drainages. When it mixes with silt, the drainages are blocked and water stops moving and someone is cashing in. They are making profit at the expense of injuring people's lives. And Kapwepa Ward Councillor says efforts to prevent new cholera infections have been heightened. Lusaka Water and Sanitation Company has come on board. They are emptying all the uh, the, the pit latrines. So we, are, we have announced to the zone leaders, but tomorrow we're meeting all the stakeholders, including the water committee. And also, uh, apart from that, we have identified spaces where we've put uh, water tanks in the areas where there is no water. The local authority has also started the process of burying shallow wells in this township. Ruth Chainda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.